Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetamin, and in this video we'll learn how to bind a list to a list. And I'll show it with the example of two tables. All right, let's get started. So I have here uh, my list of companies, my table of companies, and I have my list or table of deals. And this is the structure that I've used in many examples here in the videos. Uh, pretty much I have every company that is associated with several deals, typically several deals. And every deal is associated with only one company. So these are uh, relations that's called uh, one to many. So pretty much what I'm going to do uh, now to bind those two tables is to grab this ID. ID in my case is a unique identifier of uh, any company here and I'll pass it over dynamically into the deals table and then I filter this deals table by this ID that I've passed from a selected row from a company. And eventually, uh, essentially what it will do, it will show me the list of deals for every company that I choose, for every company that I select. And that is exactly what I want. I want to click into a company here. I want uh, the list of deals being shown here for this very specific company. Right now it doesn't work as you can see, but uh, we can make it work in just a few steps here. We navigate here to the filter section and we can right away use this magic button, very kind of abstracted and easy to understand. But uh, from this uh, example on, moving on in the complexity, I will use binding modal. So I will go uh, raw with the filters here. Uh, so I'll click apply filters. And once again, now I need to choose. So pretty much these are all the fields from this uh, deals table that I've selected. So I'll need to choose uh, what field here in this deals table represents this primary key, this unique identifier from the company's table. So then I can match them and this will pretty much do the trick. So in my case, it's going to be company ID. So I will find this company ID here, company ID equals. And then once again, I uh, click on this model uh, that allows me to bind all the components here. And I can find my company's table because I, once again, uh, I want to pinpoint the record and I want to pinpoint the unique identifier. So first of all, I choose this collection here. I can as well go here into other components to get the list of all components that I have here. And deals is it's pretty much obviously this uh, table and the company's table is this table. So I click into it. And now I first pinpoint the selected row, the, the record on the record level. I click into it and now I can pinpoint the exact field. In my case, there's going to be ID. That's the unique identifier of the company's table. So essentially what I did here is that I told JetAdmin that, hey, company ID from this deals must equal the ID from the selected row from this uh, table. And so pretty much that's what's been done here. So when I click uh, or select a row, this ID is being passed over into this deals table and this deals table is being filtered by this ID with this ID being equal to this company ID uh, values from the company ID column. So uh, that's how you set the binding or relations between two tables, two related tables inside of JetAdmin. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have a great one. Bye.